ChatGPT is definitely a game changer. Question is, are you using it to its full potential? In this video, I'll share with you seven tips to ensure that you're getting the most out of it. Tip number one is to use ChatGPT with web access. Now we all know that ChatGPT's knowledge base is limited up to 2021, but there's a way to use ChatGPT with web access. We're going to use a Chrome extension called WebChatGPT. So you just search for WebChatGPT on Google and then you install it to your web browser. And now when you go to ChatGPT, you can see it's going to open for you with the ability to access the web. For example, this is my prompt. What are the key takeaways from the just concluded African summit. So let's enter that. Okay, so you can see there's a bit of the information on how it has gone about in getting us that summary. So here is our result now. So you can see we have some sources here and then below here we have our answer. So you can see it has summarized that entire summit into four points. So I think this is going to be a real game changer. So ensure you try it out and let me know what you think in the comments. Tip number two is to ask ChatGPT to guide you on a path based on your skills. So many people struggle with what are they good in, which niche can they pursue, but you can ask ChatGPT to help you with this. So in this example, I'm asking ChatGPT to help us in choosing a YouTube niche. So this is the prompt. I would like to start a new YouTube channel, but I don't know which niche would work best for me. Could you help me choose a niche? You can ask me guided questions one at a time to help me choose. And then we'll enter that. So you can see ChatGPT has responded. It is asking us what are your interests and hobbies? Are there any topics or activities you're particularly passionate about or knowledgeable in? So I can tell it digital marketing. Okay, so you can see it's giving us the next question. Within the digital marketing niche, do you have any specific areas of expertise or particular aspects you find most interesting? So when I go through this, I think we could go with content marketing. So I'm going to quickly respond to all the questions and then I'm going to give you what it gives me in the end. So I've gone through the entire list of questions. I'm just going to scroll down. So we chose a niche, we went with that option. We decided who the target audience was. It asked me about equipment and a competitive advantage and then the frequency of upload. And you can see the summary here. Yeah, so that's really helpful for you to know that you can use ChatGPT to guide you on your career path. Now, if you're enjoying the video and learning from it, remember to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Tip number three is that you can ask ChatGPT to act as an expert in any field and then it can also give you advice on the same. So this is my prompt. Act as a YouTube expert who has helped numerous channels get to 1 million subscribers. Give me a guidance on how to get 1 million subscribers in an interior design niche. Okay, so you see I've also given it a niche. Let's enter that. Okay, so it has given us a step-by-step -step guide on how to get there. So we have identifying your niche, you have market research, you have content planning and quality, you have SEO optimization, engage with trends, all those things. So you can actually ask ChatGPT to become an expert on any topic and it will be able to give you advice acting as an expert. Number four is to give ChatGPT follow-up questions. Now what usually happens when you're using ChatGPT, sometimes you get a response like what we have now and it feels very broad, okay? So it feels as though you don't have anywhere to start. So what you can do is to ask ChatGPT some follow-up questions. For example, I could ask it here, do you really feel that this is a good niche? Is it too saturated? Okay, so this is something we'd want to know before we started our YouTube channel. Okay, so this one is the one on interior design. So it tells us that this is a great choice, but it also gives us some pros and cons. You have evergreen content, you have a passionate audience, you also have a wide range of sub-niches. Now the cons are, it is indeed saturated. You can see ChatGPT tells us that. So this is something you would not have known if you would not have entered a follow-up question. Now, tip number five is that you can use ChatGPT to generate for you a to-do list. So say, for example, we decide to go with this particular niche. We want to ask ChatGPT to tell us exactly what to do next. So we can enter our prompt here. Assuming I go with this and want to get to 1,000 subscribers as soon as possible, what do you reckon are my next best steps of action? Give me a six-month period to-do list with goal of the month and expected outcomes. So you can see month one, we have a goal is to establish your channel and create a strong foundation. This is the expected outcome that by the end, of month one we should aim for at least 50 subscribers and a growing audience engagement with the initial videos then we have month number two we have month number three all the way up to month number six so you see this is something that would help you out if you wanted to do something you can ask chat gpt to generate for you a to-do list and then you can actualize on it tip number six is that you can use chat gpt to guide you in making buying decisions for example this is my prompt i need to buy a new phone for creating tiktok videos but i am on a budget which phones would you suggest that have a high quality videos okay so we can enter that so you can see that as of its last knowledge in september 2021 it says that there are several budget friendly phones now if it is giving us information for 2021 then this is not going to help us so this is where tip one comes into play okay so you can see we have our response here and those are the sources
sentences and then we have our answer here so these are the different fonts that it is suggesting so it is a nice trick that you can use next time you're looking to make a decision on what to buy now a bonus tip here is that sometimes you can ask chat gpt to go further and give you the best choice among what you've given it so let me show you an example prompt if you had to choose only one which one would you go with okay so i'm using the initial results the one without the web browser let's see what it chooses okay, so you can see it says that if i had to choose only one i would go with this and then it gives you the reasons for that so this is something that you can use with anything you can use it to choose a niche you can use it to choose a career path you can use it to choose a skill that you want to learn so i hope you have fun with that tip number seven is that you can now give chat gpt instructions on how you want it to respond so you just go to your name here and then you click on this custom instructions so you're going to have two questions here the first one is asking what would you like chat gpt to know about you to provide better responses so if i click on this you have some thought starters here you can tell it where you're based what you do for work what your hobbies are and interests what subjects you can talk about for hours and what goals you have for example i could tell it that i am a content creator and i create content on both youtube and tiktok i could also tell it that i have some online courses down here we have the next question how would you like chat gpt to respond and then we have some examples here so you can tell it how formal or casual you want it to be how you want to be addressed you can also tell it whether you want it to have opinions for example i like it to have opinions so i could tell it every time you're telling me something i also want to know what your thoughts are what do you feel is the best way to go and things like that so i hope this really helps you out subscribe if you haven't in the meantime have a good one and i'll see you in the next video